Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fun? Oh, well, that's enough of that. Anyway, welcome back to my Inside Number 9 review series, where I'll be bringing you my first impressions of Series 6. So, last night we kicked things off with Wuthering Heist. Great pun, great fun, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Standing ovation. Yeah, I'm a fan of dark humour, but I'm also a fan of over-the-top silly nonsense, and this episode definitely delivered on that front. We got puns and plenty of them, self-deprecating meta-humour, willy and bum jokes, plus a live-action pantomime montage sequence to end all live-action pantomime montage sequences, if that's a thing that exists. I guess it does now. And while the episode is also a clever twist on Commedia dell'arte, which I only know because they straight up told me that's what it was, you really don't need any drama school knowledge in order to enjoy it. Those references are there if you want to appreciate it on another level, but most of the humour boils down to over-the-top acting, and the kind of jokes that would make a dad cringe if he read them out of a Christmas cracker. And it also centres around a heist, so it's a bit like someone made a panto out of Reservoir Dogs. Wuthering Heist has an amazing cast, and it's always great to see the variety of talent Number 9 manages to attract. We had Gemma Whelan battering down the fourth wall and explaining the difference between fleabagging and mirandering, which reminds me that I really should get round to watching Fleabag. We also had Kevin Bishop, and I had no idea until I looked him up today that he was the kid from Muppet Treasure Island, so that just made my day. As for the usual suspects, we had Reese in his ridiculous Italian accent, and Steve with his bum bags and fanny packs. I think the two of them were definitely in their element here. One performance I was really looking forward to was Patterson Joseph, as I'm a huge fan of Peep Show, and Alan Johnson was one of my favourite recurring characters. I don't know about you, but I kind of wish he'd used the Johnson voice for this episode, just because it always cracks me up. He made a great entrance as Pantalone, and his line, You're with me now, was a real standout moment. While we often talk about Number 9 being such a dark show, I think I've noticed a pattern with some of the series openers being a little bit lighter in tone, with the possible exception of Sardines, which had some pretty grim subtext, and The Devil of Christmas, which might not really count as an opener, as it was originally aired months ahead of the rest of Series 3, which officially kicked off with the bill. Speaking of which, there was one moment in particular in this week's episode that reminded me of the bill, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Overall, I think the episode it most resembles would be Zanzibar in terms of its tone and use of farce, but Wuthering Heights is very much its own creation, and it shows that they're far from running out of ideas. By Series 6, we might have allowed for a certain artistic exhaustion, but that definitely wasn't the case for me. So, what did you all think of Wuthering Heist? And what's your favourite number 9 series opener? Leave your comments below and I'll be back again next week to review episode 2, Simon Says. See you then.